Today we're going to build a freestanding pull-up bar. This video is sponsored by Fracture, which allows you to take your favorite digital images and print them onto glass. We're going to make this pull-up bar A-frame style using 8 foot long 2x6s. I placed them corner to corner and then measured 4 feet from the opposite corners to create a triangle. I used a sharpie to draw lines that'll show me what parts of the 2x6 to trim off. I placed a 2x4 corner to corner and, and drew additional lines which I'll also need to trim along. I used a circular saw to trim the first piece and then used that piece to mark the line for the second one. Now that the first two 2x6s are cut, I can use those to trace the lines onto the next two. The base of these triangular frames are going to be made out of 2x4s, so I just slid one under a 2x6 and then used the angle of that 2x6 to mark the line that I would need to trim on the 2x4. The pieces kept moving around on me, so I inserted a couple 2.5 inch long screws. Now you don't really need to trim the other side of this 2x4 piece, but it would look kind of funny if the square end was kind of sticking out. I placed that first piece of 2x4 on a second piece and then traced the angled cuts on either end. I was now ready to finish screwing the first frame together using 2.5 inch long screws. I then went through the same process to make the second frame. For the pull-up bar itself, I'm going to use a 3 quarter inch diameter steel pipe that is 4 feet long. And after sanding it to get it nice and clean, I'm just going to screw some pipe flanges on either end. With the flanges screwed on tightly, I then measured from the outside edge to outside edge of the pipe flanges. I took that measurement and cut two pieces of 2x4 exactly the same length. I then added 6 inches to that measurement and cut two more pieces of 2x4. I used two pieces of 2x4 to measure in 3 inches and then screwed the shorter pieces on top of the longer pieces. I want this thing to be quite strong so with all the joints I added screws from both sides. Alright, time to paint. So I started by painting the steel and I used Rust-Oleum's Rusty Metal Primer for two thick base coats of primer before finishing it with Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel in flat white. For the wood parts, I just rolled on a real thick coat of exterior latex house paint. I plan on using this pull-up bar outside in the hot desert sun, so the paint will just help protect the wood a little bit. So while we're waiting for the paint to dry, let me tell you a little bit about the sponsor for this video, Fracture. Fracture can take your favorite photos and print them directly onto glass. Just go to FractureMe.com and you can upload files from your computer or you can access them directly from your Instagram account. This results in high resolution prints with fantastic color or really sharp contrast with the black and whites. And what's best about it, they don't need to be framed because it's on glass and already has this cool minimal aesthetic. You can choose from a variety of different shapes and sizes and then Fracture sends them right to you. They even include the screw that you'll need to mount them. I really like black and white photos laid out in a grid like this. To learn more about Fracture, click on the link in the description box below. Alright, back to the build. For the final assembly, I switched to 3 inch long deck screws. I started by screwing the bottom spacers into one of the A-frames. I used the holes in the pipe flange to screw down the pipe. I lifted and placed the second frame on top and then added more screws. In addition to adding screws directly from the bottom, I also screwed in at angles to really lock the pieces together. For the other end of the pipe, I just used one screw for now. This is just to give it enough support to lift and tilt the whole thing up. And now I can use a level to check and make sure that the bar is nice and straight. 
Now this structure is plenty strong to hold my 170 pounds, but if you wanted to, you could add additional pieces of 2x4 or even some heavy duty L brackets to increase the strength. The four foot wide base makes it quite stable, but if you were gonna try to do muscle ups, I would recommend tying it down to the ground. Now I'm getting kind of old, so knocking out 10 was struggle city, but I'm thinking about doing a pull-up competition with my buddy Mike Montgomery from Modern Build, so keep an eye on our Instagram accounts for details. Another thing that I like about this design is that the bar is just low enough to make this easy to move. If you want to see what we're working on next, be sure to follow us on Instagram. We post pretty regular updates about the current projects that we're building. Check out some of our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.